God Almighty. That's Divine Revelation with Co-Pastor Sandra Carey out of the Bahamas on Called Out Gospel Radio every Saturday at 6 p.m. Tune in and be blessed.
Greetings, love and peace to you all. Welcome to Divine Revelation with me, your host, co-pastor Sandra McLean Carey on Call Doubt Gospel Radio. This program is being sponsored by Networking Faith Evangelism for your spiritual awakening. You can find them on Facebook. Divine Revelation promises to enlighten and empower you about the knowledge of God's divine revelation and will help believers and non-believers to get a better understanding of the oneness of God Almighty and His divine power. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the God of the universe, the God that say, let there be and there was, the God that walk upon the water and hush the sea to sleep and yield a multitude without medicine, huh? the same God, hallelujah, Hallelujah, that came in the flesh, uh, the same God that they crucified, uh, for he needed a blood, needed blood, uh, he needed spotless blood, uh, hallelujah, to redeem mankind from their sin, shame, and disgrace. Ah, uh, uh, God, the same God, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah, that say it is finished. Ah, uh, uh, my God, I come before you today. Ah, uh, uh, God, don't know strength no strength of my own huh? but with your strength lord god huh? i pray as sandra decrease huh? and you increase god huh? that you will move in a mighty way huh? you will speak through me with authority and power huh? that somebody will be healed huh? somebody will be set free huh? somebody be, will be delivered huh? somebody will get a clearer understanding of your word oneness uh, oh good god almighty i thank you for what you have done uh, what you're doing and what you're about to do uh, i pray god that everyone will have a receptive heart uh, i pray god for this great radio ministry ah uh, uh, god remember the directors and their family members their children uh, cover them with your fire and your blood uh, remember networking faith evangelism uh, for a spiritual awakening uh, holy god almighty i pray uh, that you have your own sweet way Oh God Almighty, let nothing be said of me today. Let it all be done, oh God. Huh? Oh God, through you, huh? Oh God, through your to, to for your glory, your praise, and your honor. Oh God, I leave everything in your hands today. If there's any sick under the sound of my voice, any sick under the sound of my voice, uh, oh God, they will be completely healed right now. Uh, God, touch them, Lord God, and let every sickness catch fire and go back to the pits of hell from whence it came. Uh, Lord God, I thank you for what you have done, what you're doing, and what you're about to do. I uh, uh, got on this segment right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen and amen. For prayer, counseling, comments, or question about the lesson, please text or call. One two four two five five six seven four one six. Yes, one two four two five five six seven four one six. Or my husband, Pastor Reverend Markery. One two four two four three three zero oh, seven one seven. One two four two four three three zero oh, seven one seven. For the studio or the office, call one eight seven six. 868-5109. Yes, 1-876-868-5109. Or 1876 535-8186. I want you to follow me in your Bibles. Write down the scriptures and take notes because these verses are very important. Yes, come on now. 
get your notepad, get your pen, pencil, your pen, hallelujah, and take notes. My lesson will mostly be taken from the Holy Bible and my book, God's Divine Power, book one. Hallelujah. I would like to impart to you before I begin that Jesus' Father, according to the Holy Bible, is an omnipresent spirit being. He is not a person. Jesus' mother, Mary, is a human being. And that makes Jesus Christ of Nazareth 100% human and 100% divine. With this knowledge, I will begin. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I am at chapter 3. And I will repeat the last clause that I ended with last week. Hallelujah. And it is coming from 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 19. Hallelujah. Before I do that, I would like to let you know the, 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 the topic of this chapter is why do apostolics believe in one God? Why do apostolics believe in one God? And word, son, father, and the Holy Ghost equal to almighty God. Come on, write it down. Word, Son, Father, and the Holy Ghost equal to Almighty God. Hallelujah. And um, I am doing this um, segment um, a few weeks back. So you could always, you know, check on um, Call Dog Gospel Radio on facebook and you could go back like maybe seven weeks we i started this segment and this segment is very very important because i explain i explain clearly why doctrine and the gospel is very important some people say or think it's not important it doesn't really matter. They believe you can do anything as long as you're saying God. But I believe my God is a disciplinarian. He's a disciplined God. He don't do and say anything or anything, anything go for him, goes for him. And the reason why I'm saying this is that we all know the scripture said, in Revelation, it say we it we should be either either hot or cold. We should be either hot or cold. He said, if we are lukewarm, he will sprue you out of his mouth. Hallelujah! And there are so many scriptures that clearly explain that. Whatever the words say, that, it's, that is what it means. Paul say in Galatians, he said, If an angel from heaven come and teach or preach any other gospel, let him be a curse. That is telling me that is one gospel. And it's the apostle's way, the apostle's doctrine. If you believe something that Peter never preached, or teach Paul, John, hallelujah, Matthew, Mark, all these disciples are apostles. If you are not doing what they say, you, the Bible clearly declare you are a curse. And that's why it's not it's not a joke. And it's people, people listen to me. People, I want you to listen to me today. Don't take your one soul for a joke. Don't take your salvation for a joke. 
Because when you die, there is no coming back. If you die and realize you are in the wrong, you can't come back. So try seek it out for yourself. Don't listen to what I have to say. When I give you a scripture, you write it down and read it for yourself. Your one soul could depend on it. Your one soul could be depending on it. So don't be lazy. And don't think that my Grammy and my great Grammy and my great great Grammy did it that way. So I am going to do it that way. Hallelujah. Or my bishop go to university and he go to he get doctorate and degree and he get this and he get that and if he say it so it's so god forbid the bible teach us that a lot of false prophets are gone out into the world yes a lot of false prophets is out there hallelujah i'm not saying your bishop is false but sometimes something may be bypass him and he is listening to his great 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 grandfather or his bishop that he came to see and he did not go in the scripture to, 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 to clarify it or to see if what they are saying is in the scripture they did not check it out they just teach or preach what they they heard so i am saying to you every single one under the sound of my voice you need to read the scriptures for yourself hallelujah and ask god to give you divine revelation if you don't understand it ask god to reveal it to you oh glory to god because your one soul could be depending on it you you, you can't say you did not hear it from me and let me tell you something if you come on and you know other friends and relatives that is doing something different from what the apostles say from what the holy bible say you need to tell them about my segment and let them come on and listen for themselves take notes and go and search the scriptures hallelujah so let me continue so second corinthians 5 and verse 19 also declare to wit that god was in christ which god i'm talking about the same god that john 4 and verse 24 say is a spirit yes is a omnipresent spirit being the same god look look it up john 4 and verse 24 god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself not in putting their trespasses unto them and as committed unto us the word of reconciliation this is simple saying god who is a spirit was in christ who is a human come on write it down and if you are watching me on facebook it could always um when the segment is over you could always go back and listen you know stop it write down take notes make sure and then you start again but please don't let this go by without getting the full revelation i'm taking my time this week hallelujah oh glory to god the lord jesus christ was simple sorry the lord jesus christ was illustrating to us uh, that the father and son can be one person he was illustrating to us that father and son can be one person because hallelujah write it down the because father and son are titles Come on, write it down. Father and son are titles. As I, I am a mother. I am a mother and a daughter. But I am one person. Somebody missed that. I am a mother because I have some children. And I am a daughter because I have a mother and a father. But I am one person. 
because mother and daughter are titles. According to John 1 and Genesis 1, hallelujah, as mentioned before, the Spirit of God Almighty, hallelujah, the Spirit of God Almighty's word was in him. The Spirit of God Almighty word was with him. Sorry. Yes, was with him. Because he say in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. So God Almighty word was with him. He then spoke it. Read John 1 and Genesis 1. He then spoke it and it became life. That's why the Bible says, my word is spirit and my word is life. So he spake the word and it became life. God Almighty word is also God Almighty. Come on, find your scripture and read it slowly and meditate on it. God Almighty word is also God Almighty. And the same word became flesh and dwell amongst us. The same word became flesh and dwell amongst us. Hallelujah. Write it down. You write it down? Hallelujah. Let me continue. I stopped there last week. Therefore, my words are in me. Hallelujah. My words are in me. And my words are with me before I speak it out of my mouth. My words are also a part of me. Yet you cannot see my words. Can you see my words? No. But you can hear them. You see Sandra. You see Sandra because, hallelujah. Come on, write it down. You can see Sandra. But not my words. But not my words. Because my words are invisible. My words are invisible. I go in slow because I need you to write it down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So you see... The man, Lord Jesus Christ. But you cannot see his words. Yes, you could see the man, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, when he was on earth. But you cannot see his word, which is God Almighty Spirit that spoke through him. Hallelujah. Which is God Almighty Spirit that spoke through him. Write this down. John 14 and verse 10. John 14. St. John 14 and verse 10 declares. Believest. Thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The word I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works 
Jesus is saying here. The words I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. So the Father can't be a person to dwell in Jesus and speak to Jesus. He got to be an omnipresent spirit being to be in Jesus huh, and speak through Jesus. Huh. Oh, glory to God. And while he was in Jesus, huh, he was in heaven at the same time. Huh. He was everywhere at once. He was everywhere at once. Hallelujah. And the scriptures say, he doeth the works. Without the spirit, the, 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 the body is dead. The flesh is dead. Without the spirit, you need the spirit to stay alive. When your spirit leaves your body, you is a dead person. When the scriptures say, Jesus gave up. The ghost he was dead his flesh dead the flesh the body part of him died when he gave up the ghost oh hallelujah when our spirit leave our bodies we become dead to everything or a mind die or a body die every single part of us dead is dead so i am saying to you today read the scripture for yourself don't listen to what people have to say you have to follow god rather than man and he says word is him hallelujah as i mentioned before i say hallelujah as i mentioned before because I spoke about this before in my segment. Hallelujah. I say all of this to say that God Almighty is a spirit. Come on, write it down. John 4 and verse 24. Uh, you, you might hear me repeating, but I need you to get it. So I'm repeating it. Hallelujah, because somebody's soul could be depending on it. Write it down, John 4 and verse 24. God Almighty is a spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ is the body of God Almighty. The Lord Jesus Christ is the body of God Almighty. Come on, write this down. Colossians 1 and verse 15 declares. Colossians 1 and verse 15. 15 who is the image of the invisible god who is the image of the invisible god the first born of every creature who is the image of the invisible god come on somebody You see that we need to really read and stop. And so you're going to delight in reading it. And you stop and meditate. So you can get clarity. Hallelujah. Write this down. John 1 and verse 18. John 1 and verse 18. Says... No man has seen God Almighty at any time. No one has, no man has seen God Almighty at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. So it's Jesus Christ who declared the Father. Hallelujah. As mentioned before. We cannot see God's spirit 
because he is immortal invisible we cannot see god's spirit because he is immortal and invisible write this down first timothy 1 and verse 17 first timothy 1 and verse 17 declares now unto the king eternal now unto the king eternal immortal invisible the only wise god hallelujah immortal haha <laughs> invisible the only wise god be honor and glory forever and ever amen you can see the lord jesus christ because he is the body that houses almighty god's spirit even if you vision see jesus right now you will see him with hands and feet When he rose from the dead, he could show his hands to doubtful Thomas. Uh -huh. Oh, glory to God. He says, see the nail print in my hands. Uh, it is I. Because Jesus has hands and feet. He has a body. Oh, good God Almighty. Hala, mama, mama, kushata. Eh, katama, suto kusha, baba, baka, sai. Ela, mama, mako, sata. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I got a vision once. As I said before in this segment, I got saved when I was just 10 years old. Yes, I got saved. In Golden Grove, St. Anne, Jamaica. I was baptized on 11th of February, 1979. 11th of February, February 1979. I have failed the Lord so many times, but he never failed me yet. Even when I fail him. He was always there watching over me. He was there protecting me. And I remember one time something happened in the ministry. And I wasn't strong enough to stay. I left. Hallelujah. That's why it's important to read the word of God. For after Jesus arrest me and have me read the bible from genesis to revelation i read and i i read it and i meditate on it i was never the same person hallelujah then before i read it as somebody hurt me i will be out hallelujah but now when they hurt me i just get closer to jesus oh glory to god and i recall when I had left the church, Jesus came to me in my vision and he asked me to come back to him. And I told him I am coming back. I cut in it short. And he said to me some nice words. Oh my God. I mean, it was a something to saw Jesus in a vision. And after he encouraged me, he write on the place. He write 2011. It was like 10 years before 2011. And even though I was saying to him, I am coming, he know I was not going to come and stay until 2011. When he said 2011 and wrote it, I thought he meant he was coming 2011. Oh, glory to God. But, 20, but, but, um, 2009 he asked me at a spot where i only could 
eat the word, live the word, read the word, sleep the word. Everything was just the word. Hallelujah. And when I finished reading the Bible from Genesis to Revelation in 2009, oh glory to God, it took me 20 to, to 2011 to receive back into a church. I used to visit, but I never really stayed. And when I was writing the receival um, application for that ministry, and I wrote... 2011 god bring me back to the vision when jesus wrote 2011 oh glory to god in that vision i saw jesus with hands and feet and the glory of god was over his head like a rainbow and when he stretched out his hands and shake my hand, uh, oh, good God Almighty, it was no, no, I had never get an handshake like that in all my life. That handshake, hallelujah, of my heart, soul, mind, and spirit, hallelujah, feeling so good. And before I wake, I was just saying, I saw Jesus. Huh? And I have to tell mommy, I see Jesus. Huh? Oh, good God Almighty, that vision, when I reached to the end of that street, huh? I said, see somebody, and I told them I just saw Jesus. Huh? And I got to go and tell my mommy I saw him. Huh? Oh, good God Almighty, that vision that I wake up, huh? but I still didn't wake yet. Huh? And I tell somebody that I vision I saw Jesus jesus and i gotta tell my mother oh my god i wake about three times before i finally wake up and i know that was a divine visitation from almighty god himself hallelujah after he gave me this book I got another vision and I was taken up into the heavens. Uh, oh, good God Almighty. And there was this long table. Ah, uh, uh, my God. And God uh, was at the right side of the table. Uh, he was this big light. Uh, my God, I could not look straight uh, at Almighty God. Uh, but I know he was there. Ah, uh, uh, my God, a big light. Uh, and at the left of the table, uh, Satan was sitting there. Uh, my God, it was total darkness. Uh, and Satan flapped his win wings. Uh, and he said, death and judgment. Uh, when Satan flapped his wing, the place shake. Uh, I was so afraid. Uh, I was sitting too close to God. Uh, and I pushed my hand over to God's side of the table. Uh, and I, I didn't look. I just pushed my hand there. Uh, and my hand went on a bell that was at God's side of the table. Uh, and I feel like electric current moved through me. Uh, and I said, God, uh, I don't want to die. Uh, God, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Uh, God, whatever you want me to say, I'll say. Uh, I said, God, I don't want to die. And I could feel God release. Oh my God, my wish to me. Oh my God, it was like lightning going through my body. Oh my God, when I wake up. Oh my God. I say, what was this? What does this, what, what does this mean? But after I start writing this book, uh, after God um, lead me to start writing this book, uh, he bring me back to those two visions. Uh, he said, when you see me uh, in the flesh, uh, you'll see Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah, he said. Uh, you will see hands and feet uh, when you see me in the flesh. Uh, when you see me in the spirit, uh, I am a big light. Uh, I am an omnipresent spirit being. Uh, when I'm in the spirit form, uh, and when the spirit and the, the body go together, uh, it make one person. Uh, and he gave me the revelation, uh, but he gave me the vision uh, so I could understand uh, the scriptures. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to do, to do talking to her uh, this afternoon uh, but i stopped by to tell you uh, that jesus christ uh, hallelujah the body uh, jesus Christ's body uh, oh good god almighty houses uh, god almighty spirit 
or you could say hallelujah hallelujah the lord jesus christ is divinity closed with humanity yes 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 somebody missed that the the lord jesus christ his divinity closed with humanity hallelujah we the apostolics believe believe that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself Mary's son and Mary's God. Come on, write it down. He's, he is Mary's son and he's Mary's God. Human and divine. I'm talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, he's human and divine. Uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. Both creature and creator come on write it down is both creature and creator as mentioned before in this writing see come on write this down second corinthians 5 and verse 19 john 1 and verse 1 and verse 14 when doubting thomas was sorry when doubting thomas saw the lord jesus christ after his resurrection he called him god he called him god John 20 and verse 28. Write it down. John 20 and verse 28 declares. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Yes, he said, my Lord and my God. I will stop there today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Mighty God of Daniel. I trust that somebody receives something from the word today. I pray and I trust that somebody receive something from the word today. Oh, glory to God. Let's pray. Come on, touch and agree with me with this prayer. Holy God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah God. Ezekiel God, Daniel God, I call you. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Uh, Lord God Almighty, that you stir up yourself. Uh, you reveal yourself to them, God. Uh, that you are one God Almighty manifests uh, in three different forms. Uh, but that person, uh, you are God Almighty in the flesh. Uh, you're the same God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that was in the beginning. Uh, and you are the same God that will be in the end. Uh, Lord God Almighty, I pray for every 
sick of the sound of my voice. I command every sickness to dry up from the root. Every cancer problem, dry up from the root. Every heart problem, every kidney problem, every liver pride problem. Lord God Almighty, fibroid, thyroid. Oh, good God Almighty, eye problem, ear problem, nose problem, migraine, headache, lakata masata, joint problem, joint pain, rheumatic. Joint pain, rheumatic fever, lag and belly problem, back problem, lag and uterus problem. Those who are suffering from barrenness, they shall be fruitful and multiply under the authority of the Holy Spirit. Those who have spinal cord problem, those who have curved curved spine problem those who have hallelujah shoulder blade problem pushing out Lord God Almighty those who are troubled with diabetic problem sugar problem Lord God Almighty diabetic masseteka time musuto koshata high blood pressure Lord God Almighty the sinus problem oh God holy God Almighty throat problem Hallelujah, teeth problem, gum problem, nail problem, skin problem. Lord God Almighty, here on the head problem. Lord Jesus, whatever the problem is, nostril problem. Do us, oh God Almighty, who born with special needs. Lord God Almighty, Lord, schizophrenia, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mental illness, illness with the mind, Lord God Almighty, ah, Jesus, those who have problems, who love to criticize one another, backbiting one another, backstabbing, Lord God, jealousy, spirit, Lord God, all these things that is in the churches, uh, the sins that we cannot see with the natural eyes, uh, grudgeful and bad mind, uh, Lord God backstabbing, uh, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, doubtfulness, uh, Lord God, some of them, uh, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah, all kind of different things uh, that don't line up with you, Jesus, uh, some of a form of godliness but reject the power thereof hallelujah hey la mama mako shata yala baba mako sitele bebe be kasata Spirit of discouragement, uh, Lord God, I cancel uh, every works uh, of darkness uh, that troubling your people, uh, Lord Jesus. Uh, we have no one else to call upon but you, uh, because we know you are able uh, to supply our problems, uh, Lord God, and our needs according to uh, your riches in glory. Uh, would God Almighty some people struggling to love yes 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 so much hypocrites in the churches Lord God more than in the world my God my this is just a figure of speech yes God there's so much hypocrite in the church there's so much they may not be more than those in the church but they're plenty and it is causing a lot of Christian uh, to go to hell. That's why God you say you prefer we utter we cool. Uh, because when we cool, we know that we cool. Uh, so we'll come to you and repent. Uh, and if we hot, we hot in you, Jesus. Uh, but if we look warm, we're going to church, pushing over bench, uh, speaking in tongues, uh, look so sanctified. Uh, but the art is corrupt. Uh, the art is dirty. Uh, the art is like a sepulchre, uh, white and pretty outside. Uh, but dead man born inside Lord God Almighty have mercy a mercy Jesus a mercy Lord upon us Lord a mercy Lord we need you somebody need you Lord 
come by your Lord. Somebody need your Lord. The families, all kind of confusion in the family. No joy, no peace, no happiness. War, war, war. Lord, we need your joy. We need your light. Yala mama mako shatala baba. Eko sataha. Oh God, the family needs to get up and pray. Lord God, pray, pray, pray. Pray until we get heaven's attention. Lord God Almighty, we know that it's love that takes you to the cross. Lord God, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Help us, oh God, to endure to the end. Help us, oh God, that above all else, we will be safe. Knowing that is the end of time. It's the end of time. Lord God Almighty, ah oh God, Christian can't wait. So they run gone to get some quick stuff and fall into temptation. Help them, Lord God, to wait upon you. Wait, Akatama Sata, Eko Shata La Baba Bako Sata, Yala Mama Maka Sata, Ela Baba Bako Shata La Baba. Lord God, we believe your word. We thank you for the segment today. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Help us, oh God, to trust in you with all our heart and lean not on our whole understanding. Help us, oh God, in all our ways. We will acknowledge you so you can direct our part. We know that you're a sustainer. Oh God Almighty. Help us, oh God, not to be afraid, but to be bold. Ah, oh God Almighty. I bind the spirit of discouragement. We bind the spirit that is lingering in the church, that causing people to fail. Lord God, we come against uh, uh, Prince of Darkness and his workers, uh, every satanic high priest. Uh, we shut them down uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, we put them under our feet. Uh, we put fire in the enemy camp. Uh, we put fire in the wizard camp. Uh, we put fire in the witch's camp. Uh, Lord God, those who are working all uh, manner of evil, uh, we shut them down in the name of Jesus. Uh, while they're bringing it in the church, uh, Lord God, expose the old. Oh, all their workers in the church, uh, the evil doers in the church, uh, expose them. David talk about them. Ah, uh, uh, God in Psalms uh, 37. Uh, like God Almighty said, uh, Hallelujah, uh, Hallelujah. Psalms, Psalms 27, Psalms 37. We're not to fret uh, ourselves against evil doers, uh, uh, the workers of iniquity. One of those Psalms, uh, he said that we have to worry about them because they will be cut down. Uh, like like the green grass, Lord God Almighty, I bring down every works of darkness in the name of Jesus. Those who speak peace with their mouth and have mystery in their heart, we cancel them and all the church people, them, Lord God Almighty. You have some apostles, apostolates, Lord God and Pentecostals who are saying that they are called by your name and they are saying they are Jesus only, but they that they, they, they fight it against each other. There is no oneness, there is no love. Love, Lord God, I pray that you stir up yourself uh, in the churches uh, and let them love one another. Oh God, trouble them! Trouble them because without love, none of the, none of us can reach heaven. Not one of us uh, can reach heaven without love. Uh, because the Bible tells me that God is love. Uh, no hate in heaven. No segregation in heaven. Uh, heaven is not going to be part of part of where uh, some over there and some over here. The poor over here and the rich over there. Uh, the sophisticated, sophisticated over here and the unsophisticated over there. The bright ones over there and the don't one over there. Heaven is the holy place, uh, and everybody's gonna be one, one mind, one soul, one heart, one spirit. Uh, so, dear God Almighty, bring us together, Lord God. That's why some of the other people who are worship, worshiping uh, false doctrine uh, can't be changed because we uh, who know the truth, uh, Lord God, is that living right. Uh, we who know the truth, uh, Lord God, the doctrine not gonna take us to heaven. Uh, we have to walk holy we have to talk holy we have to live holy we have to love 
Hallelujah. And God, I know if we apostolates, uh, we who are following the apostles' way, uh, start living right, uh, walking right, uh, talking right, uh, loving right, uh, all men will be drawn unto you. Uh, your words, if we lift you up, uh, all men will be drawn unto you. Uh, and so God, help us. I repent on the behalf. I stand in the gap and I repent. Lord God Almighty, on the behalf of the apostolates. Oh God, those who are following the apostles' doctrine. I repent for them, Jesus. Some of them stop. Stop preaching uh, and teaching the undiluted word. Uh, they stop teaching and preaching what they believe. Uh, so people coming into apostolics, uh, churches, people coming into the churches uh, that are following the apostles' doctrine uh, and leaving and going to other churches. Uh, by God that is worshiping false doctrine for your bible tell me there's a they are false doctrine and if the bible said they are false doctrine i believe it and it is and it exists and so dear god i pray today that you will help those who will receive the light and who know what the light is i pray today god that they will teach others what they know oh god those who in it and don't know it and teaching false things that you will reveal the divine revelation of your word Oneness uh, to them, uh, and them, oh God, that they will delight in your word according to Psalms 1 uh, and get into the word. Uh, and as they get into the word, uh, they will meditate on it uh, so you can step in and, re and, 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 and reveal your divine revelation to them. Uh, Lord God, I thank you for what you have done, what you are doing, uh, and what you are about to do uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, I I call it done amen and amen and amen this has been your program divine revelation on call the gospel radio divine revelation was sponsored by networking faith evangelism for your spiritual awakening you can find them on facebook remember to call for prayer counseling comments ask questions about the lesson Please text or call 1242-556-7416. 1242-556-7416. Or my husband, Pastor Robert McCary, 1242-433-0717. 1242-433-0717. Studio office line numbers are 1876-868-5109. 1-876-868-5109 or 1-876-535-8186 1-876-535-8186 if you were blessed and would like to be a sponsor of my program yes if you want to bless this program financially to keep it on the here please do so Call, hallelujah, the numbers that were given. Hallelujah. Yes, feel free to call the numbers that were given. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. See you next week. Same place, same time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God willing. God's willing. Amen and amen. It's Divine Revelation with Co-Pastor Sandra Carey on Called Out Gospel Radio every Saturday at 6 p.m. The program promises to enlighten and empower you about the knowledge of God's divine revelation and will help both believers and non-believers to get a better understanding of the oneness of God Almighty. That's Divine Revelation with Co-Pastor Sandra Carey out of the Bahamas on Called Out Gospel Radio every Saturday at 6 p.m. Tune in and be blessed. Amazing.
Restoration Ministries Church of Jesus Christ presents its 16th pastoral and church anniversary a virtual celebration under the theme Amazing Grace Ephesians 2 8 to 9 July 24 and 25 2021 come here dynamic guest speakers Bishop Derek Hanna from the Turks and Caicos Islands Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern and overseer Juanita Keen out of Canada on Sunday 11 a.m. Eastern Zoom ID 8929 Four six nine seven three one zero passcode four six zero four zero five. For more info, call Pastor Winsome Ramsey at seven one eight five zero nine seven seven zero two or Elder Mark Walters at six four six three six three four five eight seven. Zoom in for a blessing.